Russia's aggression against Ukraine gave the leaders of the Balkan countries the push to accelerate the activities of finding alternative energy sources and thereby minimize the role of Russia as a dominant supplier of energy for this region. The new pipeline, envisaged to supply gas to Southeast Europe from Azerbaijan, was promoted at the Energy Forum held at the beginning of the month in Sofia. That summit was interesting because uh, uh, an attempt was made, in my view, a successful one, to lessen the dependence on the Russian gas and to find a new provider in the, in the Republic of Azerbaijan. So it means that the whole part of the continent will lessen its dependence on the Russian gas. The energy crisis has also set a new tone in the relations between Bulgaria and North Macedonia, which were, until recently, burdened with conflicting historical issues. On the sidelines of the forum in Sofia, Bulgaria and North Macedonia put history aside and discussed the present and the future. The two presidents talked about the possibility of Bulgaria directly delivering its surplus electricity in order to help North Macedonia overcome its problem with electricity shortage. This was in essence the first time in the last two and a half years when Bulgaria, or official Sofia, started to send positive signals to us, to Skopje, to all the Macedonian people, because they agreed to establish a working group of experts and to find the ways not breaching the European Union directives and, uh, and the rules of the European Commission and to export the surpluses of electricity they have. So not that surplus to go direct to the world markets, but to go bilaterally to North Macedonia. Faced with the challenges brought about by energy and economic crisis, the two presidents agree on the need for an economic forum to be organized in the near future to discuss the development of cooperation in order to accelerate the socio-economic development in the region. In Skopje for Euronews, Borja Jovanovski.